Today, the big catch will reel in our own. Save for some catfish and more and test our gills in Medicine Park. Travel with AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Hi and welcome to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dean O'Lawley. We're coming to you this week from Medicine Park down in southwestern Oklahoma. And this is a picturesque town with a fascinating history. It's got a great history. And we'll talk more about Medicine Park a little bit later in the show. But first, guess what? It's time to go fishing. <laughs> we grabbed some fishing poles and we handed them over to Jeff Roberts and Shell Wagner and sent them out to catch some fish for dinner. Now, they took our request very seriously. They went the extra mile and enlisted the help of a professional fishing guide. Oklahoma fishermen and chicks have long said that there's no justice in fishing. Well, those folks have never fished McGee Creek State Park with Oklahoma's own bass guide, Chuck Justice. Uh, I'm the only angler in Oklahoma history to ever have more than one bass on the Oklahoma top 20 list of biggest bass ever caught in the state. I've had four of them on there. I've also had two clients I've had fish on the Oklahoma top 20 list. Now, we catch a lot of great big bass at the lakes that I got on, but we also catch a lot of bass. So when you come fishing with me, we're going to probably catch some bass and you're probably going to get a chance at the biggest bass you've ever caught in your life. The knowledge that I'm going to try to give you while you're out fishing with me can not only be used on this lake, but any other lake that you go to anywhere in the United States. Well, after a pep talk like that, it's time for Chuck, videographer Tommy, Mama Shell and I to hit the water and catch us some lunkers. Now, our first stop was a honey hole that Chuck said we'd at least snag us one of those elusive oaky stick fish. But of course, Chuck and Mama Shell were conspiring behind my back to make sure Shell caught the first fish. She's gonna skunk me today. You got one, set the hook, set the hook. Got him, keep him coming, keep him coming. Real, 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 real fast. Real, real, oh, it's a big one, it's a big one. Okay, okay, hang on, just keep pulling him, keep pulling him, keep pulling him, keep coming, here, keep pulling him. Bring him here to me, right here, stop, stop reeling, stop reeling. Come here, baby. All right. Woo! Yeah. Oh, it is on yeah. now. Ain't no way Mama Shell's gonna show me up. So I fish. And I fish. I even sing the fishy, fishy song. Fishy, fishy in the brook. Man catch him with a hook. Mama fry him up in pain. Baby eat him like a man. And then, <laughs> booyah! Just got one. Oh, 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 All right, man, oh there you go. Okay, hey, uh, that's that one that probably hit her. There you go, there's your wow. video. Okay, push the button on the reel, but put your thumb on it when you push it. All right, hey. Hey, hey. there's your nice one, man. How Get big some is it is? I don't know, how, how, how big do you think it is? I think that's uh, 18 pounds. 18 pounds. It's not 18 I like pounds. the way you. I, I was gonna say, you I like can the fish way with you me think. anytime you want to. <laughs> oh, you remember me talking about Chuck saying we'd probably snag one of those oaky stick fish? Check out what yeah. Shell caught. Come on. No, you got, no, got, <laughs> got that stick Man. fish. Oh, I thought you had a good one. All kidding aside, Chuck Justice is such an amazing guide. He had Mama Shell and me catching, so he finally got to drop a hook. And bam! <laughs> Wow, we got the dry fishing over here. <laughs> Dude, that's some serious fishing. So the next time that you want to show up your friends, you need to give Chuck Justice a call and get some justice while you're fishing. It's like rocks. We'll turn, turn Chuck Justice. At McGee Creek State Park, I'm Jeff Roberts. Man, that's a nice fish now. Awesome. You can check out all the great fishing holes in the state or hire a guide of your own. And all the info you'll need is at TravelOK.com. Well, if you've watched this show at all, you have a pretty good idea what my fishing skills are like. So when it comes to fishing, I like to cut to the chase or maybe just cut to the plate. Well, I'll tell you, well, you've seen my fishing style too and I'm <laughs> right there with you. But did you know there's a place in Moore you can just walk in, 
they'll put some delicious catfish on your plate. That's my kind of fishing. It is, and from what I've heard from you, they also have other great foods and homemade desserts. The desserts are fantastic, and I have to tell you, when videographer Tommy Evans and I went to do the story on Catfish Cove, it was difficult to leave. Sisters Kelly Michael and Kimberly Bain were raised in restaurants. Their dad was in the restaurant business, and today they're doing what he taught them how to do, consistently serve great food and keep the customers happy. Kelly and Kimberly do that all the time at Catfish Cove. One of the secrets of success their dad passed on to them, make everything fresh. The catfish here has not been frozen. You can get fried catfish or baked, and they have specialty items like frog legs, and every Saturday night, it's all you can eat, Alaskan crab legs. Now, all the sides are plentiful and tasty, but fresh is the key. We make everything fresh, and we make everything from scratch. We don't buy prepackaged lettuce. We cut our lettuce. We shred our cabbage for our coleslaw. We make all our dressings from scratch. We make our ice cream here, just like yeah, you have. Yeah, it's not a mix. It's made with Eagle yeah, Brand Milk. Yeah, it's made with Eagle Brand and Milk and half and half and, and milk, just like you'd have a Fourth of July picnic or something. But we don't make, we don't take any shortcuts, and we're real proud of our food and we like everybody, we want everybody to like our food. We don't want anybody to come in and not like what they're eating. So we take a lot of pride in our food. And when these ladies say it's made from scratch, they aren't kidding. Even their salad dressings are made from scratch, as well as all their desserts, including not only the ice cream, but all the cobblers and bread pudding. They hand bread their chicken tenders, and that loving care and extra touch can be seen and experienced with each bite. And all this stems from family tradition. They're all family recipes handed down. You know, even our coleslaw, my dad used to have a restaurant, a barbecue restaurant. When I was in high school, I'd have to go over there at lunchtime and go back to school my senior year smelling like a barbecue pit, but we use the same coleslaw recipe today. And the family tradition continues because the third generation is now actively involved, especially since there are now two more Catfish Cove locations, one in Yukon and one in Piedmont. Well, I actually love it. I mean, we're already a close family anyway, so, and then just being around it and working with all of our family, it makes it kind of easier and everything runs smoother. Everyone's kind of on the same page, and I think it's, I think it's great. And I think the customers enjoy it too. They come in and they see it's more of a relaxed atmosphere and it's a family atmosphere, so they kind of feel part of our family when they come in to dine with us. And dining here is a fun, delicious experience, and you know you'll have fun when you walk in and see all the photos on the wall. We have pictures of catfish our customers send us, they email them to us or they'll bring them in and they're always real proud to have their photos displayed. We like to do that so we want everybody to bring their pictures. We've got them at all three locations and we need a lot more. Catfish Cove has a couple of other locations in addition to the store in Moore. You can go to Yukon or Piedmont, either one. You can see their hours and menus by making a quick trip over to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. All right, stay right where you are because we're just beginning today's adventure. As pretty as this location is, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of exploring around southwestern Oklahoma. But not in the usual way. How about from the seat of a bicycle when Discover Oklahoma returns in two short minutes? We had some family members that had switched to AAA and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and found out they could save us money too. And so we ended up switching. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our car insurance alone saved us probably about $600. Any money you can save during the month and have some left over, um, that's, a, that's a pretty big deal. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Want to get away? Oklahoma road trips are fuel for the soul. To get your motor running, visit TravelOK.com for brochures, inspiration, and loads of savings. A few clicks will put you on the open road to adventure. At TravelOK.com slash road trips, it's easy to find a getaway that moves you. We've reinvented the road trip. Come along for the ride. Approximately a year and a half ago, my friend Gary Wise, who I go to church with, had uh, become a AAA agency. And he had asked me, he said, let's just check, see what we can do. We tried to compare apples to apples to his current coverage. And uh, my premium went down $800 for the same insurance for this house. I was tickled. I mean, $800 is a lot of money. Go see Gary. Get your AAA insurance. It's, it's head and shoulders above the rest of the companies. 
Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, coming to you this week from Medicine Park, which is a quaint little resort town just northwest of Lawton. There's really so much to discover here, and it's almost like there's a natural beauty that engulfs the whole region. This is one of my favorite landscapes, the Wichita Mountains. You can see Mount Scott behind us. It just suddenly rises up out of the prairie and is so beautiful. Just over the mountain is the Mirror Store. Our Shell Ryder decided that she would see all of this from a different perspective by saddling up for the Tour de Mirrors bike race. Teddy Roosevelt first said out loud what folks here in the Wichita's have known all along, that these mystical mountains are a national treasure. He proclaimed in 1905 that 59,000 of these acres would be preserved for future generations as a forest and game preserve. Thrumming with tales of hidden mines and buried fortunes, this swath of geography was the last piece of America to be open to white settlement, the last place in the country it doesn't get any more pure than that. And one of the best ways I've found to experience this unspoiled splendor is from the seat of a bicycle for the annual Tour de Mirs ride. There's routes that go through the heart of the Wichita Mountains, which are absolutely beautiful. Begun in the late 80s as the sole source of funding for the Mirs Volunteer Fire Department and held each year on the Saturday of Memorial Day weekend, this event sees a lot of repeat riders and always some flabbergasted newcomers. Many people who've never been down in the Wichita Mountains, they are just amazed when they come down in this country because it is so beautiful and it's, it's really fairly unknown to most people, even in Oklahoma. It's a very beautiful ride. And we've heard that from many of our participants. There are five different routes to choose from, from 10 miles to 62 miles. We have, uh, you know, some, some fairly high level riders that come and really want to run, r ride the course at a high speed. And we have others that have uh, baby strollers attached to their bikes pulling their babies. This was my daughter Cricket's first road bike charity ride experience and this event will hook you. We chose the 22 mile route and Cricket loved the adventure, especially the free ranging bison, not in a cage or even behind a fence, and the speed of the mountain roads. At one point, according to her speedometer, she was going 30 miles an hour. I think they're just really surprised about the fact that there are mountains in Oklahoma. I think that's the biggest shocker to people. Well, they enjoy the buffalo also. Luckily, this ride is fully supported with rest stops all along the way, so I could occasionally catch up to my daughter. The rest stops serve up snacks and encouragement. We encouraged friends to join us and wound up making a weekend of it. This is a ride, not a race, and early finishers don't get a medal or a trophy or anything like that, but instead something even more coveted. They get to be one of the first folks through the door at the Mears store for the nationally famous Mears Burger, a seven inch diameter burger made exclusively from prize winning Texas Longhorn beef and the recipient of a slew of best burger awards. It's a savory reward for a full day of peddling. If you've never had one, you don't know what you're missing. When Teddy Roosevelt envisioned the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Preserve more than a century ago, I wonder if he ever imagined a day when folks would glide past these pristine pastures and epic boulder-covered mountains this way. I doubt it, but if I could bend Teddy's ear a minute, I'd tell him that from my humble perspective, this is the ultimate way to experience this national treasure. In Mears, I'm Shell Wagner. Want to tackle Tour de Mirs or one of the many other cycling events across our state? We'll have all the information for you on the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. You know, watching Shell doing the bike ride in that story and working so hard, really? Well, guess what? It worked out my appetite. Of course, everything makes us hungry, but you know we're in luck because we talked about Mirs store. It's not very far away and it's one of the quirkiest little eateries in Oklahoma. We'll check out the ultimate burger when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. We had some family members that had switched to AAA and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and kept telling us that we should look into it. And so we decided that we should go see what, what we could do. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month. And so any penny that you can save is a big deal. AAA was something I always heard of when I was growing up. And when people talked about it, they talked about it in a reliable way. And so when we switched to AAA, um, it was something that we just trusted from the beginning. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our car insurance alone saved us probably about $600 a year. 
our life insurance, we were actually able to double our coverage and our premium still went down um, close to about half as well. Again, it's not something you ever want to think about as you grow up and become a grown up with a family, but it's definitely something that you need to have. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. And Dino, I know you consider yourself a burger aficionado. Well, I have to say in my burger expertise, <laughs> the bigger the burger, the better. Well, you're in luck because we've, we've mentioned it, the Mir store just over the mountain here, kind of a pickles throw away, if you will. And these folks serve up a burger as big as a Frisbee. I've heard about that place, but I've also heard they serve up a generous helping of history right along with it. It's kind of an old rattle trap of a building at a crossroads, just a stone's throw north of the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. But the Mir store and restaurant is nationally known for its burgers and lunchtime brings burger lovers in from all walks of life. Owner Joe Maranto came here first for the same reason his customers come now. The burgers always were first class burgers here. Uh, the first time I came in here, the, when the first thing I saw, I walked in the door and I saw the owner uh, had just ground up, uh, he, had a, he had a big porcelain pan piled high with fresh ground beef that he had ground down here and was taken up to the kitchen. And the first thing he says to his wife, his wife was named Gladys, says, Gladys, says, you're cooking them faster than I can grind this meat. And so I said, well, you know, that's the way to do it. Joe bought the place back in 1983, and when burger sales started falling in the fat-free frenzy of the mid-80s, he started looking for a way to make a leaner burger. A uh, neighbor over here told me, well, you ought to try Longhorn beef, so that's, it's uh, leaner, and people will come for that. And I said, well, I, I think I, I'll try it. And I thought it was a good gimmick because of Wildlife Refuge, where they saved the Longhorn from extinction just a mile and a half down the road. So I tried it, man, it, it was impressive. Now Joe has his own championship longhorn herd. The burgers are impressive. The bun it comes on is as big as the plate it sits on, and the patty is bigger than the bun. It's so big, in fact, they cut it into quarters so you can actually pick it up. Here's the kicker, there's only eight ounces of meat in that burger. It's so low fat, there's almost no shrinkage in the cooking. But you can seriously pack on the calories if you're so inclined with the peach cobbler. The Mears Burger is considered one of the best in America by real burger connoisseurs, but Joe says it's not the only reason to visit the store. You know, you come to this place, you see these hills, you see this old building, and you see this old rattle type of building that you walk inside of it and say, man, look at all this stuff on the walls. Look at those big stairs, look at all these pictures, look at all this uh, history, you know? And uh, this isn't uh, fake history, this is the real thing. Joe's right. In an age of fast food and cookie cutter burgers, this is the real thing, the real big thing. For more information on Mir's store, its fascinating history and very tasty menu, just go to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Well, don't go anywhere, there's more on the way. Including an historic tour of our location today, Medicine Park. Stay with us as AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns in just a couple of minutes. In early April of this year, we had one of the most violent hailstorms I've ever seen in my life. And my wife called me, and you could hear the noise over the telephone. By the time I got home, got out here from town, there was hail everywhere. Baseball, size hail, golf ball everywhere. Uh, my truck was beat to pieces. It was, it was a pretty violent hailstorm. I called my AAA agent, Gary Wise, a friend of mine asked him what the procedure was, give me the phone numbers, we need to turn this in. We hope to always be there whenever they need us, and that, that is the most important client that we have, is the one that we're talking to at the time. I feel AAA has treated me with the utmost respect. I feel like they were went above and beyond to be respectful of our, our time and our property. AAA definitely is there for the right reason. The president of the insurance company call and ask, you know, what could, what could they do to help Woodward and help our clients in their time of need. Okay, look, if you've got the kind of job where you shower after work, then the phrase good enough ain't in your lexicon. Because just getting the job done doesn't get the job done anymore. you got to own it. And this is your down payment. Ford Super Duty, the most capable pickup in America. This is the truck that the guys who do the hardest work depend on. It's number one in every industry. Ford Super Duty. Right now, get a Ford Super Duty with up to 4500 cash back at your Oklahoma Ford dealer. Welcome back. AAA makes this show possible and does a lot of other great things around our state. Here's a look at today's AAA. 
Hi, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. According to the Better Business Bureau, auto repair tops the list of consumer complaints year after year. Unpredictable and notoriously expensive, car repairs can be scary if you don't know who to trust. AAA approved auto repair takes the scare out of car repairs. Our online AAA shop locator lets you access more than 8,000 approved auto repair facilities nationwide, all carefully investigated and monitored by AAA. Additionally, they provide our members with guaranteed written estimates, return of replacement parts, 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, warranties, and free maintenance inspections. And if there's ever a dispute, AAA will be there to resolve the issue. With our unparalleled network of repair shops and guarantees, AAA gives you confidence and peace of mind that your repair will be done right and at the right price. To learn more, visit AAA.com. AAA, for the ones who matter most to you. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. This week we're coming to you from Medicine Park. I love this area. Not only is it a fun place to shop and to eat and to stay, it's a fascinating history here. It brings people in for all kinds of reasons. There is a local musician back here shooting a music video this week. It all started back in the gold rush days in the Wichita Mountains right around the turn of the century. So who better to rush in and check out the history for us than our Jeff Roberts. Okay, so this is Medicine Park, a quaint little community, got a huge growing artist community as well, shops and boutiques, and a history that'll really make you go, wow, they've been a resort area for a long time. Medicine Park was originally um, a pleasure resort and health spa in the early turn of the century. There would have been picnics with watermelon and kids swimming and lifeguards, of course. Uh, the bathing suits, there were weddings that took place, there were dances. Everything happened around this area. It was home to all kinds of fun events and people would come and spend the summer here. It's kind of been asleep for the last few years and there's been a lot of rising and falling over the last hundred years. And now we are starting to stabilize and uh, come together as a community. If you've never experienced Medicine Park, you feel like you have stepped back in time and that you're in a place that, that has natural beauty. We're not having to contrive it. God put this here. It's absolutely gorgeous and you're surrounded by beauty, mountain, waters, trees, wildlife, birds, and you get to enjoy it. It borders beautiful mountains. Water runs right through the center of it naturally. The Native Americans were camped out here and they considered the Medicine Creek to be good medicine and that's how they referred to the waters with medicine waters. Medicinal powers in this water, Native Americans thought so. We thought we'd put it to the test as well. In fact, come here, our camera guy Walt and Shell are with us. This is Shell, look, she just got in. Look how much younger she looks. And Walt, oh my gosh, even hair on Walt. We're gonna find out what it does to me because I don't know what's gonna happen for me. Here's to looking different. That feels pretty good. I don't really feel any different though. Hey, wait a minute. What is everybody staring at? Okay, no water is that magical, but the experience here truly is. For Medicine Park, I'm Jeff Roberts. You can catch Jeff every weekday morning on KMGL Radio at 104.1 FM and catch all the information you need to plan your next trip to Medicine Park or the Lawton area on TravelOK.com. Well, that's our show for this week. What gorgeous weather we've had. And Great. big thanks to all the folks here in Medicine Park for letting us hang around. And we also want to thank you very much for watching. Next week, we're all about celebrating and honoring moms everywhere with some fun destinations from delicious dining to lovely lodging and soaking up art and culture in between. Hope you'll join us. So until next time, remember. There's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department. Mm.